these are things where you have to be careful when you add in a new course to, to the page. Uh, but down here, this is where you'll see your actual grade for that topic. Hey there and welcome back to the Notion for Students video series. My name is Janosch and in this series we are building a full organizational system uh, for students in Notion. And at this part of the course, we are actually going to talk about how you can implement a grade calculator in the, the setup and how it actually works. All these uh, different parts that we're, we're creating and all the different topics that we're talking about revolve around a set of templates that I've created which are available for download for free in the description down below. So definitely check them out because uh, as I said, all of the videos are, are built around them and are meant to show you how to use these templates to, to implement this into your own uh, uh, Notion workspace. Uh, so yeah, check them out and now let's get right into the video. All right, now let's take a look at the grade calculator. So this will be a rather short video uh, because there's not that much to it, but I just want to show you how it works. Uh, so that you understand uh, how it works and also that you can change something about it um, if you ever need to in the future. Uh, so the grade uh, calculator is pretty much embedded into each of the courses that you have. And um, this way you can only see the grades that you have for that course uh, when you're on the course page, but in the big grades database, there are all the different grades together. So pretty much how it works is you just add in your uh, assignment or exam or whatever uh, you got graded on in this column right here. Uh, then you add in your grade. This is uh, based out of a scale from uh, zero to 100. So out of 100 points, um, this is the grade. And then you also add the weight. So how much of your end, end grade um, is assigned to each of these different uh, assignments or exams. So in this case, uh, the actual exam has the highest weight, making up 45% of the final grade, uh, while the assessment, uh, the assignment right here, uh, has only got a weight of 15%. And this is important because this is then calculated using a Notion formula um, to actually give back the the uh, weighted grade. Um, which, yeah, as, as I said, makes it possible to, to have these weights and to calculate your, your, your grade automatically using that. Um, so these numbers right here will not really be that useful because they will be just parts of the final grade uh, expressed in, in absolute numbers. Uh, but down here, this is where you'll see your actual grade for that topic. And now if we see if I actually uh, maybe like add in a couple points right here, so 95, you see how the total grade changes um, because now we've got a higher grade. So just so, so that you know, uh, this is again filtered uh, obviously for this course. Um, so these are things where you have to be careful when you add in a new course to, to the page because you will have to uh, add in these filters or you will have to set up these filters um, because otherwise, uh, like all of your grades will show up in here. Um, so if I just, uh, if I were to like remove the filter, um, you see um, it will pop up all these other different grades which we don't want to, to have in this, in this course because they aren't from that course. Um, so we'll just go back in uh, to our filters and we'll add in this filter again. We'll choose course, contains, and then theoretic computer science and that's it, perfect. All right, that's it for this video. I hope I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. And also if you have any questions, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. That's it, take care and bye. See you in the next one.